Hi, my name is Louie, and I work for Texthelp. I'm the product manager and evangelist for Equatio, made by Texthelp. You may reach out to me on Twitter at capital T-H underscore Louie S, or you may email me directly at Louie at Texthelp.com. As you watch this overview, I would encourage you to open up your own Google document so you can participate and make math and STEM objects along with me. Please visit docs.google.com and open your own blank document. Then, simply go up to your Chrome extensions and open up Equatio. Click on the blue diamond and you will see your toolbar open up at the bottom. It should overlay on top of your Google document. Before we go over all these input methods in the product, I'd like to first go through the menu. Click on the blue Equatio menu box in the left corner of the toolbar and then select Options. This should open up a box and display which version of Equatio you are running and it will also list how long your license is valid for. Under Math Options, you will notice that you have many different choices to make. The default font setting is set to regular. However, if you're an instructor standing at the board, you may want to change your font size for students sitting in the back of your classroom. Select the drop-down box and pick the choice that suits you best. Under Language, we provide localization in English for United States, English for the UK, Spanish, and French. It is best to leave your speech engine set to automatic. I would encourage you to make sure you have toggled on all of your prediction items before we begin. Select Toolbar Options. Here you can customize your toolbar by turning off certain input methods. If over time, for example, you find yourself never needing the speech input method, this is the place that you will return to in order to remove it from your toolbar. The next option is your Chrome options. The default setting here is set to automatic, which is your speed option. This will insert math at a higher rate of speed than obviously your quality option. However, if your preference is for your math to be inserted at the best picture quality available, then please toggle your setting to quality. This is also a great place to go if Google Docs undergoes an update and all of a sudden your math in Equatio will not insert. Changing your input method here may repair Equatio until we at TextHelp can push out an update by our development team. In other words, it's a great backup plan we have incorporated into our product. The Profile tab will display your logon credentials that TextHelp is using to validate your subscription. Many users log into their computer with multiple Chrome accounts, and this tab will display the Chrome profile being used with Equatio. Last but not least, the About section will display the current version of Equatio that you are using. Go ahead and close this box when you are done checking your options. Return to the menu. The Help and Support button will redirect our users to the support page. Click on Contact Us in the upper right corner to reach out directly to our IT support team. The next option in your menu is the Send Feedback button. This often gets mistaken for technical support. The feedback form is for our customers to give us suggestions as to formulas they would like to see added or maybe new shapes that would help in the classroom. Feedback helps drive the roadmap, so please keep your great suggestions coming. Fill out the Google form to speak directly to myself and our development team 
and we will gladly listen to your suggestions on how you would like to see the product evolve and help you in the classroom. The fourth button on the menu introduces you to the Equatio Mass Space. It is one of my favorite pieces of Equatio, but it is a piece of our product that stands alone as its own web app. You can get to Equatio Mass Space, the web app, by visiting equatio.texthelp.com. I look forward to showing it to you later on in the demo. The last selection in the menu is if you want to close the toolbar in its entirety. Simply select the Menu button and then close Equatio. Now that the menu has been covered, let's go ahead and get started by checking out our first input method, which is your Equation Editor. Click on the very first input method in the toolbar. This will expand the toolbar and give you an editor box so you can type your math into. Before starting, let's make sure we have an understanding of all the buttons within the editor. The palette buttons at the top include a button for inserting text, a color button so you can color code your math items, a heart for making favorites, a trash can for clearing your editor, and a vertical dash line for more options. Over to your far right, you have a green smiley face emoji that will attempt to recognize your math specifically when making math in the handwriting and speech recognition input methods. Underneath your editor box, you see a small blue hat with an article title displayed next to it. We refer to this as our Equatio Academy. This is a learning resource database that is for users to look up articles and to watch videos to help them familiarize themselves with our product. Watch as I type the following problem. I will showcase text in line with my math. When completed, I will insert the math into the document. Once inserted, I can see the digital math in the document. Not only is the math digital, but it is also accessible. Left-click on the image of math, then right-click on the picture. Arrow down to the Alt Text option and select it. In this pop-up box, you will see the Alt Text inside the title box, and you will see the Math ML in the description. Close the display box. Let's try accessing some of our formulas in prediction. Type in the letters Q U A. Notice our prediction engine is working and it is attempting to decide whether you, the user, want to insert the fraction 1 fourth, the word quantity, or the quadratic formula. I can use my mouse to select the formula and it will insert right into my editor. I could also use my arrow keys here to arrow down and select enter. Select insert math and the formula will appear in the Google document. One misconception about our product is that because we insert images, those images cannot be edited. That is simply not true. You do not need to click on the picture and hit delete to start over. Simply click on the image and select Edit Math to bring the problem back into the editor to make corrections or to begin solving. For this problem, I'm going to begin solving by copying the first line of math down to the second line by pressing Control, Shift, and Enter, and I can begin to insert the values for A, B, and C. Once you have made a second line of math, you may have noticed some alignment buttons appear. We encourage you to use those 
to make your math appear more friendly in our editor and when you go to turn in your work. Maybe you're going to be teaching the quadratic formula over the next several weeks. If so, why not favorite the formula so you have easy access to it? Here's how. Enter the formula and select the heart button. Give that formula a name and select the check button once you've named it. A collection of all of your favorites will appear under the More button. In the Palette button, the trash can is for removing all items in your editor. To start over and clear your editor, click the button one time. The More button, once selected, contains five drawers. The General icon contains a collection of text formatting options that we think you will find useful when making your math. The Symbols button contains those commonly used math symbols used throughout math and science class. The Layouts button provides you with easy access to all commonly used matrices from elementary to higher education. Finally, your Formulas button contains all the formulas available to you. You can even search if you prefer that to scrolling. We have lots of formulas in our product. It may be more advantageous to search. Let's return to the editor and show the science teacher something great. Look how easy it is to use and type in chemical compounds. I'm going to start by simply trying to find aluminum in our product. Type in AL and I can scroll down and select aluminum arsenate. And look how easy it is to enter that chemical compound into our editor. Select Insert Math, and that compound can easily be inserted into the document. It is a great time for you to pause the video and try to find formulas that you use within the curriculum and subject areas that you teach. Type in some math, science elements, make your very own chemistry compounds, or locate math symbols. Take a few minutes to familiarize yourself and explore our equation editor. The second input method is your LaTeX editor. A LaTeX editor is reserved for your more advanced users. At TextHelp, we have taken the fear out of making math online by doing the heavy lifting for you, the user. When you open the editor, your LaTeX editor will appear on your left and your equation editor appears on the right. You may access your prediction and input formulas on the right and notice we will make the LaTeX on the left for you. Here's an example of one way you can use the LaTeX editor to your benefit. Watch the example on the screen for how you can use our screenshot reader in conjunction with the LaTeX editor in order to move math from a PDF into a Google document. Because these features are typically reserved for advanced users, I'm going to keep this input method very brief. Just know you can always go into your LaTeX editor and alter your math here if you wish. Take a minute before moving to the graph editor to type some items into the prediction on your right hand side. Watch the LaTeX appear and this will more than likely make you very pleased that we are making this markup language for you. It's hard for me to imagine any digital math classroom success without having a digital graphing tool. You are going to love who we've partnered with. When you open the graph input tool, you will notice ours is powered by Desmos, which is the best graphing tool on the market. Go up to line 1 and line 2 to enter some math. On line 1, 
I'm going to write y equals 3, and on line 2, I'm going to enter x equals 1. You will see Equatio input the lines on the graph to the right, cutting through the x and y intercepts. Select Insert Graph to place it into your document. Now, click on the graph and select Edit Math. Clear the math by clicking on the X to start over. I'm going to enter a new algebraic equation to see how it appears on the graph. Once the graph appears, select Insert Graph and it will replace the previously made graph on the Google document. One final example, I'm curious what happens when I enter the sine of x. Insert the graph, and it's that simple. Desmos does have some built-in accessibility features within their product, which we were happy to bring over to Equatio. Click in the box on line 1, then on your keyboard, tap the buttons Alt-T to turn on Audio Trace, then tap H. To learn more about Desmos' accessibility features, please visit desmos.com front slash accessibility. The next input method allows students to record math using their own handwriting. The Canvas window for writing on can be dragged up or down depending on the amount of space one might need to record their work. Keep in mind that the purpose of this tool is to give students an alternate way to make their math. You can write one line of math and then begin writing directly underneath it to make math on line 2. If the handwriting is unrecognizable and transcribes the math into the wrong symbol or wrong number, simply scribble it out to erase it and re-record. You may also go into our editor box and use your keyboarding skills to fix the errors. Please note, once you click in the math editor box, you will lose all the handwriting on the left-hand side. Using an onboard microphone built into your Chromebook or laptop computer can really help populations of students with learning disabilities, including dyslexia, poor or limited motor skills, vision impairments, and physical disabilities. Your speech input box appears on the left-hand side of the Equatio toolbar, and your Equatio math editor box appears on the right. Click the red record button to begin recording your math dictation. Three x cubed minus two y squared equals eight. When finished, click the red record button to stop the recording. Your spoken math will turn into digital math on the right side box. If a mistake is made, simply use your mouse to click on the location of the error and make your adjustments prior to inserting your math. Notice how I can switch back and forth between the input methods if I decide to switch to handwriting to make my second line of math, and so forth. For a list of speech commands that work within our product, please visit text.help/equatiospeech and click on the tab labeled Speech Input. Take a couple minutes and try recording your voice by pressing the record button to see how accurate our speech input truly is. Our next input method is Equatio Mobile and it has many use case scenarios. This can be somewhat challenging to demonstrate using a mobile phone or a tablet, so I'm showing this using a Chrome window. On an Android, 
you must use Google Chrome, and on an iPhone, you must use the Safari browser to visit the Equatio mobile website. Simply visit m.equat.io using your mobile browser above, or you may scan the QR code to the right to get to the mobile landing page. If this is your first visit to the mobile site, you will be prompted to authenticate with the login credentials of the domain for your paid subscription. Notice the landing page takes you to your active documents. It is searching for G Suite applications using Equatio, MS Word documents, and Math Spaces where Equatio is open and active. Select the active document so Equatio knows where to place the items you are creating on your mobile browser or device. At the bottom of the window, you will have the option to handwrite your math, audibly dictate your math, or snap a picture of the math. Select the handwriting icon at the bottom. Annotate the math you want to make on your screen and select the green circle at the bottom. Save as math will turn your handwriting into digital math for you to input or you can select save as image and the actual handwriting annotation will input into the active document once you select the blue insert button in the bottom right corner. The choice is up to you for how you would like the annotation to appear. Now, select the microphone at the bottom of the toolbar. When you are ready, select the record button at the bottom center of your screen. Speak your math out loud and then select the green circle button. Equatio Mobile will then convert your spoken math into digital math once you select Save as Math. Click the blue circle button to insert into the document. Finally, select the camera button in the toolbar. This will activate your camera on the mobile device you are using. Make sure you accept permissions if prompted. Take a picture of math anywhere and Equatio can read it. You will have the option once again after the picture has been taken to have the picture with math on it converted to digital Equatio math or if you prefer to see the student handwriting, for example, they could keep the picture as is and select Save as Image, and the student handwriting could be turned in on the digital document. Take a moment now and try Equatio Mobile without my assistance. Visit the website I mentioned previously or scan the QR code to get started. Have you ever had students in your class that need to do more than just see numbers on a paper to understand the math? Of course you have, and I would love to show you how you can engage all students with varying learning styles using MathSpace. Click on the Insert MathSpace button in the toolbar. This will open a new Chrome window and take you to an open space where students can access a few buttons in the toolbar that are not in the Chrome extension. These buttons include a freehand drawing tool, a Shapes and a Smart Shapes button. Select the Shapes icon and notice the eight figures that appear. You can select any of these shapes or you can select the line with dashes which will bring up a very robust list of geometric shapes and digital manipulatives that you can select and bring into your math space. There are many different opportunities for students to show their understanding of the mathematical concepts. There are plenty of STEM items also such as pulleys, switches, fuses, etc. Let's move to the next button to the right and explore smart shapes. Smart Shapes provide opportunities for you, the user, to really manage what you want to do with a Smart Shape tool. 
For example, you can select a protractor, insert it into the space, and then go into the menu to alter its settings. The same can be said for the other objects available here. Select the clock, for example. You can then go to your whiteboard to click and drag your mouse to make the clock the size that you would like. Click on the clock once it has been drawn and then look to your right menu bar. You can change the time, add a second hand, or change the numbers to Roman numerals. You do not get these same types of menu options with items in your shapes drawer. This is only allowed in your smart shapes. When you're finished exploring with the shapes or any of the input methods in MathSpace, simply click on the Insert button and it will go directly into the active document you are using. The screenshot reader allows Equatio users to pull a box around a math problem and to hear that math read back aloud to them. This is a great tool for disability service departments who must provide students an opportunity to hear the math read aloud. Five lines, line one, four X minus three equals nine, line two, positive three plus three, line three, four X equals 12, line four, four fourths X equals 12 fourths, line five, X equals three. You can click on that play button as many times as you need to in order to hear it read back to you. You can also click on the three dots, which allow you to access even more options. These options include accessing the LaTeX information for the math within the box, or you will have access to the MathML, which can be used to paste into Word, or you can even paste the math into LMS platforms of your choosing into the HTML editor. The final button on our toolbar is our STEM tools. The first button provides access to our periodic table. Clicking on the toolbar at the very top of the table provides the user access to drag the table around your screen or even minimizing it if need be. Hovering over the element will display the name of the element, and if you look closer, you can see the abbreviation for the element as well as its atomic number. Clicking on the element will open an additional window which will provide an abundance of information directly under the picture. A written out description will be to the right of the image and include a hyperlink to the Wikipedia page displaying even more information about the element if it is needed. You can also select Add to Equation Editor and it will insert the chemical symbol for the element directly into the Equatio Equation Editor. The next STEM tool is the Desmos Scientific Calculator. This easy-to-use scientific calculator is the same one that is used on 70% of examinations administered in the United States for end-of-course exams or state assessments. To learn more about whether your students will see this same calculator on their state exam, please visit desmos.com testing. This calculator is easy to use and built right into Equatio, providing a one-stop shop for students and has the added benefit of being featured on exams that more than likely your students will take. Next up is our Molecular Viewer. This will provide users access to thousands of molecular structures within the search bar near the top. Click in the search bar and type in what you're looking for. Once the structure appears, you can use the magnifying tools to bring it closer to you or zoom out to move it away. You may also use the arrow keys to move it to the left, right, up, or down. Users who are currently looking for a completely different type of view may click on the drop-down box and select a view other than the default which is ball and stick. 
Why don't you pause the video to explore all these great STEM tools that we've added into the product. A final note before wrapping up, we know that Equatio integrates beautifully into many of the integrations you know and love. But did you know you can also use some features of Equatio outside of commonly used integrations? Take for example, you want your student to complete watching some Khan Academy exercises and you want them to have a calculator handy. What happens when you click on the extension? Well, the toolbar doesn't load at the bottom like it does for a Google Doc. However, you are given an abbreviated toolbar which gives you access to buttons such as the screenshot reader, a discoverability button, which can be turned on or off depending on your preferences. In case you didn't know, the discoverability button, if toggled on, is looking for math on the web pages that you browse. If you do not want it to search for math, simply turn it off until it grays out. The last buttons are, of course, your aforementioned STEM tools. You can open a Desmos Scientific Calculator no matter the website you're on, or you can open a periodic table if you need it. If you do not wish to use the toolbar, simply click on the blue Equatio logo to collapse the toolbar. I hope you all have benefited from watching this overview video, but most of all, I hope you have a few takeaways of things you want to try with our product with your students. As you are already aware, there is more than one way to solve most problems, especially math problems, so don't you think we should afford opportunities to students that allow them to use all these input methods to show their understanding? I hope you agree that the paper and pencil method of solving a problem is very yesterday. Won't you take this digital journey with us at TextHelp? Equatio provides teachers and instructors something to do, which is what teachers want. Let's skip the theory behind the math and allow kids to get straight to the practice. Equatio makes both an active and interactive experience. The days of watching the back of the teacher's head while he or she does math are long gone.